Hi there, I'm Melissa from Speech Therapy Store, and today I'm going to show you how to take your beloved PDFs that are currently not interactive and how to make those little boxes that are fillable that they, your student can write in. Maybe you want to send home homework, maybe you just want to prep the worksheet ahead of time so you're not wasting time making the fillable boxes as you go. And I'm going to show you how um, using a free resource. So let's check it out. So as we get started here, you're going to want to have your PDF candy. Then you're going to come over to, I just Google search PDF candy. And then once you're here, you need to first make your PDF um, into individual pictures. Then we can lay those pictures down on our worksheet and then we can add the fillable boxes on top of the worksheet. So we're going to say PDF to JPEG. JPEG is an image or a picture. From here you're going to add your file or you can drag and drop. That's simply what I did. So I have my worksheet here that I wanted to use. Save to my desktop. I just drag and drop. Then I hit convert. When I was done with that step, then I was given this message, done. Download your file. My file then came as a zip file due to the fact that there are, now you have multiple images. So you just double click your zip. It will create, it'll open up the folder. So now I have, if I double click, here's my folder of JPEG images. So to just give you an idea, it says JPEG, and now each page of that document has turned into an image. So I can go ahead and then head on over. I then head on over to Jamboard. Now that we're here inside of Jamboard, you will hit get started. Um, this is part of Google, so it'll have your, you'll sign into your account and you can save all of your Jamboards. Here's the one that um, I've started here to just show you how I do it. So for example, this is my life skills um, asking for help bundle, which is within my TBT store. I can link to it below in case you want to see more about it. So maybe I just have a cover page then this is the vocabulary that I'll review with the students. Just move myself over here. So this is your board where you can do things. So let's say I'm prepping this assignment and then I'm going to send it home as homework or as a do by yourself activity. So you have a pen. So I could write on here with a pen. There's an eraser. This is how you point and click. There's sticky notes. So I think this feature is really cool for just giving your student individual directions as you go throughout the assignment. So I could say, um, you know, review words. So right here, make it a little bit bigger. So when they get to this page, they're like, what am I supposed to do with this page? There's no fillable boxes, right? It's like, no, just review the vocabulary. So that way your students go, okay, on this page, I'm just going to review what self-advocacy mean um, to get the help that you need. You can add an image. That's how I imported this slide. So this is part of my bundle, but I just turned it into an image, and so I imported it as an image. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. You can add shapes if you want, and then text boxes. This is how I add the text boxes so your student can text. This one's kind of cool if you were doing um, this activity live through your like Zoom or Google Meet, you can make a line or do whatever, and it disappears. So. I think that might be kind of fun. So as you're going, you can say, okay, now we're going to discuss helpers. 
and then the line just goes away. So these are people. These are people who can assist you. Okay. Um, so then I would just go through the different vocabulary. Again, I could leave them a little sticky note about what to do. Then here's my first worksheet, let's say. So within this box here, within this upper box, I was just going to allow the student to draw a picture. And then down here is where I want the student to type. So if you go back to the cursor, I have already put a text box here. So the student would just need to double click. What does self-advocacy mean to them? So we need to get the help I need. And there you go. Helpers. The people who can help me. So, as you can see, I already have the text box here in this example. Um, and then they could grab the pen. So you can draw a marker, a pen, a highlighter, or a brush. And then they could change the color. So maybe to them, self-advocacy would look like them. And then maybe they would draw a teacher over here. Um, obviously, the drawing teacher looks like it's a little harder to work with, but you get the idea. You just have to use the fillable boxes if you don't like the drawing feature. Okay, and then to show you another one, um, this one, I, in this bundle I have it differentiated at three different levels. So this level, um, they just define, with, so if you go back, this word is self-advocacy. So in this example, they're given the definition instead, and then they would need to write what is the definition. So let's head over to... So on this one, we could give them the sticky note, say, right. The line. So then when they get to this page, they will know the directions they need to write um, on this line, their vocabulary word. So then we would head down to text box. I'll show you how I made those text boxes before. So, make it bigger, and then you can move it, adjust it a little bit. So then, as you can see, you don't see it there, but it's there. So when your student would double click, and then they right. About to see. So currently, there's no boxes here, because I haven't made them yet. But what you can do, let's delete that. Let's say you're mul making multiple boxes of the same size. You can go Command C, Command V on Mac, and then now I'm given another one. Let's paste another one, drag and drop, paste another one. So now I have all five. If they just double click, and they're all ready to go for the student. They don't have to do any adding them the text boxes themselves. In this one, this is the third level for the differentiation where they would just draw a picture, which might be a little bit harder online than in person. Then this is my practice scenarios where they're given a scenario and they fill in the blanks. So I already made this one fillable to just give you an idea. So if you're not finished copying down the notes and you need more time to finish. So how could you get someone's attention? So for these boxes, they would double click, and then I'm just having them put an X in the box. Again, you could write, you're just doing a sticky note, put an X next to the box you want to mark. So that way they know what to do within the boxes, let's say. So in this example, they're going to say the person's name. I struggle with going that fast to take my bits. Okay, and then in struggle, they would put an X. That's the sentence started that they use. 
how we try to solve this problem. So I have two, I've tried, I'm trying to move faster, but it is Okay, what do you need the person to do? Can I'm going to use you please? Can you please slow? Okay, so there's an example of how the student might be able to complete this form. Um, I have a, I just included for my student the review answers that come along with the bundle. And then here's another one. And in this example, I haven't done the fillable boxes. So I just wanted to show you, like I did a little bit on the other page. You just click and then you create your own. For the X boxes, what I did is I, oops, I made a smaller box and I put an X in it so that way I could kind of see where exactly to put it. That's still a little off center. Let me actually. Okay, so then I'm going to control C, control V, and then I'm going to put another one up. And then I just do that as I create it so that way I know the X will be in the right spot. And then when I'm done, I just delete the X part of it. So then that way when my student sees the form and they want to put an X there, they can and it will show up in a more appropriate spot. Sometimes it can get off center. Um, so then let me just show you how I was doing that. So to add a page, then I just go to image because remember we created them all into images. So then select the file and then here's all the pages from my bundle that I was working with. So let's say we want them to do another practice scenario. Um, it, oh, this is the answer key, but let's just say we wanted to share the answer key, so then we just make it bigger. Like so. And then that's the next slide in our image, and then we can do whatever we want with it. And then you just add another page to another slide. On um, this little drop down, you can rename your bundle, download it. Um, and then share. So if you click share once you're all done, so I'm going to say anyone on the internet with the link can view. So I'm going to copy that link. Then if you head on over to your Then within my classroom, I can go to create an assignment. So this minute I ask me help lesson, we will add, in this case, a link. Add the link. Students can view the file. You can make a copy for each student. So go ahead and select that. Then I will assign it to my students. Okay, so now I will click into the assignment. So now this is what your student will see. The assignment along with any sticky notes that you leave them along the way. Let's head over to the fillable boxes to just get a view for that. So then we can just type the 
right onto the fillable boxes that you already need for them. So this is something that you could prep ahead of time for your lesson planning that you're going to do with your students. But like I said, you can do it ahead of time and then assign it in your Google Classroom to send to your students that they can do independently on their own time. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this free feature um, that you can use in order to make your PDFs fillable and interactive.